Flowers are just the perfect thing to put a smile on somebody's face. That's right, and Stephen is here with Mountain Man Floral to show us how to make a foolproof bouquet to brighten the face of that special someone. Hi. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for having me today. Welcome back. We Thank love you. when you're here. Okay, will you start with telling us what Mountain Man Floral is, all about yeah. you and your business? So Mountain Man Flowers is up in Morgan. That's where I grow all of my flowers. I actually sell my flowers to the Utah Premier Flower Collective. It's a collective of 15 different farms that myself and Hidden Creek Farm from Farmington have put together to bring local flowers to flower shops and floor designers. You know your stuff. Yeah. Yes, we <laughs> love it. It's Learning great every that if you were at a flower shop that maybe these are the flowers that we're receiving. Your flowers, yeah. right? Okay, so is there a trick, a tip that you can give us if putting together floral bouquets and how do we get started? Yeah, so one of the things that we offer as a service to our clients is we make pre-made bouquets. So we're a wholesale business, so we sell to flower shops and then people can go to these flower shops. One of is Natum Flower Company. Another is Petal Coop, and another is Flower Imagination right here in Salt Lake. Oh, I love it. So when we're putting together the bouquets, we want to be fast about it. So we prepare everything onto the table. So we have a focal flower here. We have Gerber daisies. We have spray roses. Sometimes we want to think about a rose as a focal flower, but I really like it as a support flower. Something linear that kind of breaks out of the mound. So this is stock. Okay, wait. You have to tell our viewers yeah. what you just taught us about mm -hmm. the stock. It was pretty fascinating. So you can actually eat stock. It's related to broccoli. Um, I probably wouldn't eat this one. Make sure that it's grown without any kind of pesticides before you eat it. Sure. But it actually is great on desserts and salads. What is Wait, the flavor? what are you eating? Are you eating the You're flower eating the or are you eating this part? Yes, yeah, so smell it. Okay. It smells like clove. Oh, that smells so it's good. It's really strong. Yeah. It's a great flower mm, for bouquets pretty. because it brings a lot of aroma. Yeah. So then we want to add some kind of a texture like a berry pretty. or mm -hmm. a pod. Yeah. Here we have hypericum berries. Mm -hmm. And then I like to add something that's like an alluring texture. It makes you want to like reach in and grab it. Yes. So here we have wax flower. And then we're going to color it with some greens. Okay. Kay. That combo together mm -hmm. is going to be beautiful. Saray, and you already knew some of the names of these. And I said, how did you know? <laughs> and what did you say to me? I said, I may have received a bouquet or two. So I'm going to show you how quickly we can go through this. So we, and you say do it fast because we don't want it outside of the refrigerator or because Well, of, because when I'm making these for our clients, we need to keep the cost low. So we have to make these in less it. than two minutes. Less oh, than two minutes. So here we go. We grab, we we're all going to do it together. So we have two minutes exactly left. <laughs> Let's see if we can time it. Okay, all grab right. your focal flower. Okay. We're all going to grab one. Okay. We're going to grab a couple of filler flowers, which is our spray roses. How many do you suggest? We're just going to go around just a couple okay. of them. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that little bench. I feel like, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Then we're just going to go okay. down the line. Then we're okay. going to add our spike flowers. Okay, and just one there. And as we're going, there. we're just kind of lining up the tops. And you do you think about the colors? Yeah, so actually, I got, you'll be able to see on my Instagram page, mm -hmm. I got this color idea from my rear view camera. <laughs> so it's backing up. What? So okay. you'll look, you can go look at the picture and see what I put there. I love your so Instagram, it's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the berries. Too. Yeah, so like two or three berries. Okay. Berries. Two or three of our alluring flower. I like these flowers. It's very artistic. Mm -hmm. And you can creative. even go faster when so there's you're just not, flying is through that them. The, um, a, that's how you would do it, not the leaves first, the greenery? Yeah, so the, was, nice, the, the reason we do the leaves last is because it creates like a protective layer. Oh, so okay. once we get our whole bouquet together, mm -hmm. we clip all the bottoms to the same length. Oh, this is really fun. I like mm -hmm. how this Gerber daisy stands out too. Yeah. Okay. So we how want all the bottoms of the do? same length so when it goes into the vase, two? they're all reaching the water. Yeah. And then we just go up one stem with the rubber band. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. It's ready to go into Look the sleeve. The I feel like so my stems are at various lengths. My yeah, so you'll clip them all. Okay. Once you have it all done, you're going to cut them to the same size. Am I strong enough to clip these? I might need your help. Okay. okay. So we're going to grab it all really firmly with mm -hmm. our one hand. Okay. And I'll then let we're going to clip that. them all to the same length. And don't be scared. Don't be timid. I yeah. was more timid trying to. Yeah, yeah. Cut yeah. Off I mean, at piece. the end of the day, these are going to go home into somebody's vase. They're going to arrange them a little bit. How and then into the sleeve. Pretty. The combo is beautiful. Stephen, real quick while you're wrapping that up, what are some of the seeds that we can start planting in our homes right now for spring? So my favorite top five cool flowers um, to start is snapdragons, sweet mm -hmm. peas, bachelor buttons, scaviosa, and larkspur. And those you what start in water or soil? You'll in start your home? them in soil blocks or in okay. a soil tray. You can start them as early as the snow starts to melt. Oh. So those are flowers that really like the cool soil. 
they'll get a good root system and they'll bloom all the way through the what summer. a variety we will put those up on our website so viewers can go and find those and know what to plant and there you are right there utah premier flower collective and mountain man flowers hey thank you so much thank you for so being much. here a lot of fun all right, we'll go <laughs> these are all for you take one home and give one to a friend oh look how beautiful <laughs> okay, we did a good job we, we nailed it all right up